All right, so here we are now at the table saw, and I want to square the ends of my center section. So before I do that, I'm going to put an arrow pointing at the edge that I just jointed. So that's my jointed edge. And what I want to do is I want to make what we call a cleanup cut down one end of the board. So I'm going to cut off a relatively large amount of wood to make a straight end on the edge of my board. Then I'll measure the length, which is exactly 10 inches long, make a mark on the board, and cut off the other end. So let me do that for you. I'm using the cross-cut crib on the table saw, and I'm going to adjust the blade so that it is approximately one quarter inch above the height of the wood. I'm going to put my jointed edge with the arrow back against the reference edge of my cross-cut crib and slide the board over until I'm lined up to take about an inch off the end of the board. When I hold the board in the crosscut crib, I'm going to put my right hand here and my left hand is holding the board back against the reference edge as well as putting a little bit of pressure downward on the board. When I make the cut, I'm going to slide straight through, then slide the board over, then bring the board back. So here we go. So this gives me an even smooth cut on the end of my board. I can take my scrap piece, throw it in the scrap box. Now I can measure the length that I need, which if I read the plan, tells me that the center section is supposed to be 10 inches long. Now notice that I'm making my mark close to the edge of the board. If I made my mark way back here somewhere, I wouldn't be able to line it up with the table saw blade. So I'm going to make my mark close to the edge of the board and that's going to be the length of my center section. Now when I line up this board for the cut, I want to make sure that my blade is aligned to this side of the mark. If it was aligned to the other side, then the board would be too short. So I'll show you that when I put the board in the crosscut crib. I'm going to slide the board over to the right, and now I'm going to line up my pencil mark right here with this edge of the table saw blade. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to change my hand position so that my left hand is holding the board down with my thumb behind the crosscut crib and my right hand is pulling the board back towards the reference edge and holding the board down in the crosscut crib. Here we go. And now the center section is cut to 10 inches in length. <laughs>